we are going through dam engineering and under this section we will mainly focus on the classification of dam so watch the complete video video dam is the water retaining structure that is built across the river for providing safe retention and storage of water the concept of dam is as old as human civilization while most of the ancient dams were used for flood preventing and for irrigation but the modern dams are mostly used for hydropower generation here are some of the examples of ancient dam this is lake homes dam situated in syria and it is one of the oldest operational masonry gravity dam this is Kalanai Dam, also called as Grand Anicot, serving the people of Tamil Nadu, India. This is Sad A Koba Dam that is situated in Iran and it is the eighth oldest dam. Now, moving through the classification of dam, dams are classified on various basis as first on the basis of material, second on the basis of function third on the basis of head fourth on the basis of hydraulic considerations dams are classified as first earth fill or embankment dam second rock fill dam third wooden steel or masonry dam fourth is our concrete dam and fifth is our rubber dam the first type of dam on the basis of material is earth fill or embankment dam in this type of dam the compacted soil is more than 50 percentage of placed volume of material used for earth fill embankment they are constructed mainly of selected engineering soil compacted uniformly and intensively in relative thin layer at control moisture content now the second type is rock fill dam. Rock fill dam is appropriate where more than 50% of fill material are coarse grain type, that is rock fill. In this, the impervious element of compacted earth fill or slender concrete or bituminous membrane are introduced to control seepage. Now, third is our wooden steel or masonry dam they are used for secondary purpose for small dam sometimes stone masonry with concrete is used as a gravity dam now fourth is our concrete dam it is made either from pcc or rcc and it may be gravity dam or in the form of arts buttress dam or any other form now fifth is our rubber dam rubber dam is used to retain water in small height compressed air is used to make dam and released whenever not needed now second is our classification on the basis of function so on the basis of function dams are classified as first storage or conservation dam second is our diversion dam third is our detention dam fourth is our cover dam and fifth is sabo or check dam now first type on the basis of function is storage or conservation dam this dam stores water during surplus that is during monsoon and used during deficit period that is during dry season it is used for water supply hydropower irrigation recreation fish farming or multi-purpose it is generally high dam constructed as embankment dam or concrete gravity dam the second type is diversion dam they are constructed to provide head for carrying water into canal, tunnel or any other 
conveyance system. Generally, height is very small and no reservoir is formed. They are used in ROR, hydropower project, irrigation and water supply and other purposes, etc. Now, third is our detention dam. They are constructed to store and detain flood water temporarily and release it when flood subsided. Sometimes, detention tank is used to trap sediment called as debris dam. Now, fourth is our cover dam and they are used to divert the water during construction. Fifth is our sabo or sec dam and they are used to prevent erosion. The third is our classification based on head on which the dams can be classified as first low head dam having head less than 15 meters second is our medium head dam having head ranging from 6, 16 to 70 meters and third is our high head dam having head ranging between 71 to 250 meters and fourth is our very high head dam having head greater than 250 meters now the fourth basis of classification is our classification on the basis of hydraulic design considerations. On the basis of it, the dams are classified as first overflow dam. This is made of concrete with spillway and second is our non-overflow dam that may be earthen or rock fill. So guys, if you think this video is useful, you can like and share to your friends and for such videos you can subscribe to this channel as well thank you and we will meet in another video soon